In this brief video, we're going to review the phases of program design. We'll cover the details of each phase in subsequent lectures. Program design is the organization and coordination of a training program, of its training activities. Everything from administration to facilitation to evaluation. When we design a training program, we need to consider the features of not only the learning event, but of the working conditions both before the learning event and after it. Program design has a direct impact on trainees' learning, and for this reason, effective design is crucial to overall training effectiveness. This step of program development is extremely important. As you can imagine, there are a variety of different considerations that we need to make. In this module, we're going to focus on some of the strategies that we haven't learned about yet. And we are going to focus on some of the more practical issues that trainers and instructional designers face as they design programs. Training is not an isolated event. What happens before training and what happens after training makes a difference in how much trainees learn and how well it's transferred to the job. There are at least three stages that we need to design before we can invite trainees to participate. Phase one is pre-training conditions. Ideally, employees are motivated to attend and participate in training and then use what they learn to improve their job performance. They should have the necessary prerequisites and perceive a supportive work environment, topics that we've covered in previous modules. In this module, we'll focus on preparing the training site and knowing the stakeholders. Then, in the second phase, we design the learning event. This includes training materials like curriculum roadmaps, lesson plans, design documents, concept maps, and so on. This phase also involves train the trainer sessions and preparing the learning environment. Finally, it requires opportunities for trainees to practice and receive feedback. In the third phase, we design the post-training conditions. Trainees use the self-management techniques that they learned from their trainers, and managers provide opportunities for them to perform their newly learned capabilities. We also have to ensure that once again, the work environment is supportive and that it encourages the transfer of training. Now that we've covered the phases of program design, you can move on to the details of each of these phases.